All right, so here today we got some very fun stuff to talk about. I am reminding you, alerting you, and telling you there is a feature coming very, very soon, um, and that feature will be a pretty fun one for the community. Uh, it could be a hit or a miss. I'm very curious what happens here. Very, very curious on that front. But um, there's a lot to expect from it. Today I'm going to go through everything. We're going to get character buffs through the system. It could be making characters meta again. Could be making characters S tier. We do not know how far this uh, buff extends and how far this is going to go. But again, there's the new content they promised on stream. Again, on stream they also give us an idea of what to expect from it when to expect it and kind of an idea updating us like yeah it's coming soon and a first look at some of the stuff there uh, which is very cool today we're going to go through all the information what new information we got from everything compile it all together and talk about it as it's going to be a feature coming to the game very soon a feature that i really have wanted a buff feature uh for example buffing isabel with the huge thing ever I'm, I'm waiting for it um and eight you know my copium they both are going to become ss tier characters carrying you through every content and my mlb was only worth it or the dupes that i've pulled were only worth it because of the system and they're doing it to be nice to me remember that pure coat but let's do it let's do it stop it here today like and subscribe helps out a ton let's hop over there so first things first let's start with the uh the thing over here showing us what the new um, update looks like first off again this is the anniversary stuff okay okay it's gonna skip right past this then it's gonna show us the future uh content and such and that's like the main focus we kind of have about what this main uh future content is i didn't even hit play yet whoops future content here we go mog Still didn't get it. What I'm waiting for, though, I cannot wait for MOG. This is, like, the greatest thing ever. And literally, this is my one thing. Once MOG releases, you won't see a Gogo video. Gogo's gonna be gone. Gogo's gonna be just playing this every single day. I cannot wait for MOG. I spent so much... I spent more time playing MOG than testing Red Hood. You know what I mean? That's what... That's my anniversary recap. Gogo, what did you do during the uh, the first anniversary? I played MOG. That's what I did. I mastered everything in the game. I beat every challenge. I went for that challenge before I got nerfed, dude. That's what I did. I was a... I was weird, definitely. The MOG was way too much time spent. Cannot wait for this, but this is coming out in May, I think. Uh, collectibles and treasure system coming soon. New collectibles growth system for all characters launching soon. Search or select characters will have the access to the treasures through um, which treasure wallpapers and special storylines can be unlocked. So again, over here, we have the Diesel one. We had the Firma one at first. We had the Laplace one just now. And then we have the Exia one. And that's the coming soon content. That was like the main focus of what's coming soon. And this was the details we had initially. Let's go over there. So starting over here, we got the first dev notes announcing a new growth content. Now, let me introduce to you the new growth content uh, to be updated at the end of April. At the end of April was capped. They ended up delaying it heavily, being pushing it from April all the way till now end of March, which they were saying, we don't know. We don't know, right? It could be June-ish start, or it could be end of April. We don't know if there's another delay in the pipeline, but again, they give it a whole month delay uh, because they wanted to revamp something in it, which was just the currency. So we'll talk about that in a second. After the update, all Nick Caves possess high quality upgrade materials collectibles. Once Nick Caves are equipped with collectibles, the properties that match their weapon characteristics will be enhanced. So again, after the update, all Nick Caves will possess high quality upgrade materials collectibles. Okay, once Nick Caves are equipped with collectibles, the properties that uh, match their weapon characteristic will be enhanced. Furthermore, the collectibles of some characters who have undergone three limit breaks can be upgraded to treasures. So there you go. Again, it makes it clear. All characters, all Nick Caves will possess high quality upgrade materials. Those are collectibles, so everyone's getting collectibles. But the ones that get treasures get the buffs, right? Uh, so again, the collectibles of some characters who undergo three limit breaks can be upgraded to treasures, which will enhance the attributes of Nikkei's who own them. New illustrations and exclusive story episodes related to treasures will also be released. So again, we're getting four illustrations and exclusive story episodes with um, this update, whenever this happens, which is the end of May or next week. We don't know. Yeah, next week. Yeah, we don't know. So again, keep that in mind. Lapless was the first character to get announced. Diesel second, from a third, and then fourth Exia. Those are the ones that have low activation rates. Low activation rates means no one's playing as them. So we got to buff them. We got to make them work, right? Uh, they shared us this entire image over here, announcing it, showing off an artwork. It was beautiful. We loved it. The buffs that are coming will be Lapless Enhancement of True Damage. We'll see what that does. We'll see how that turns out. Diesel Enhancement of Taunt and Survivability, which again could be a pretty good thing there. Increase the, um, what is it? Increase of the Damage Enhancing Buff, which also is pretty good. Frima Enhancement to EFF of True Damage. So there you go. And then XC Expansion and Enhancement of Applicable Targets. We are planning to design treasures for more Nick but the updates will be rolled out gradually as the development process is quite time consuming. Thank you for understanding. Collectibles and treasures will not consume additional Nick Case Bear Bodies. Uh, and can be obtained through outpost dispatching and solar raid so again the confirmation to obtain the currency is just outpost and solar raid okay that's that's good you know not oh we have to go in and the uh gems no no we've got to go and do this like weird mechanic no a simple mechanic already in the game 
now with this being a system attached to it it's a new currency to obtain which is good very good very good we like that all right so so far nothing really screams um that bad other than the dupe system yes it requires you three dupes so one plus three now they changed it after the latest update uh which was this over here they, they fixed it for us yeah in this developer notes this is what they say here we have received some feedback so again to alleviate my uh or your burden or any burden it may impose on character growth is what they did first we plan to introduce the spare body of the characters with treasures in the mileage shop as silver mileage products which is huge the only thing is yes i understand the feedback from players saying oh you know it kind of sucks that we don't get all of them at one point you will get them at some point just not all at one point and the way they plan on releasing stuff is very slow let's be very honest here but again that's what they say so again they're going to update it so let's say lapless from uh uh, Axie and Diesel will all be in the Mila shop to be obtained via this, correct? Because again, those characters don't exist there. We will be, um, we'll also enable the purchasing of these, uh, well, technically, isn't it Lapis only? I think Diesel exists there. I think Axie exists there and Frima. So it's just Lapis getting it, technically, right? And then in the future, whenever characters get it, like, like let's say Helm, Helm will get it too. Uh, we will also uh, enable the purchasing of these spare bodies or characters through gold mileage products. That's dog crap. Don't do it. The sale mode uh, and price will be consistent that well, with the current mileage products. These are, are these mileage products can be purchased within a certain period after the acquisition of the treasure. The period is estimated to be around two months. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's that. Beyond that, over here. Moreover, we will adjust the condition to upgrade collectibles uh, to treasures from Limit Break 3 to Bond Level 30. Basically, it's like Limit Break 2, I think, right? Uh, so you still need the one character and two dupes. I think so. So it's three dupes instead of four dupes, which is good for what it is. Um, after time, you're right. My Diesel's, I think, already ready to go. My Frima is... No, my Exia is almost ready to go. And my Lapis and uh, Frima are far. So that's how my account looks like, right? Uh, do the above adjustments. The upgrade, update will be post uh, postponed to late May. So again, it kind of sucks. It's like... This was the change, which was a numerical value, and just this function here, they deleted a whole month. Kind of sucks, but yeah, that's what they did. After the first treasure upgrade, we'll be launching one treasure every two months. In my opinion, it's also dog crap, but everybody complained. Whenever whenever I first mentioned it, they all complained, and they all started to hate, like, <laughs> kind of hate comments, like, oh, no, you're, you're capping. It's a whale talking. I'm not a whale. Make that clear. Second, no, it's not, dude. This is a terrible system if it's one every two months. In my opinion, it genuinely should have been one or two every month. <laughs> You know how long it's going to take to get these characters? We have like 16 Nikkei's plus in this game. I think more than that, much more than that, right? So getting treasures for the old ones, we're going to be here forever, dude. One every two months. We get six a year, dude. Oh my. We might adjust the schedule and launch three every six months instead. Um, which, imagine, dude. Imagine six Nikkei's a year. This game lasting 10 years before they buff Isabel. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Um, all your comments, suggestions, or whatever, whatever. Yeah, we don't really care. So, pretty standard stuff. But yeah, that's like the entire system. Correct, that's it. So, they, they changed it. That's the entire thing. They're launching it end of May. Again, they showed it over here, showing us a first look at everything that they have planned with the, the um, entire collectibles and such. Remember, everybody's getting a collectible. Upgrading the treasure gives that new benefit to the character, which helps them, buffs them perfectly and everything. And it gives them them stories. And it gives them the wallpaper. All those things will be given to us in this update that we cannot wait for. And MOG will be launching apparently i think in the same update so again stay tuned for that as well those are the big things that are coming soon big big huge things for the game again i am curious what you think about everything i stand by my statement saying that collectibles you know the way that they're doing them six a year we're going to be here forever before we get most characters buffed um and that's just kind of how things go sadly can't do much about it but that's it so again let me know your thought uh, process on everything let me know how you feel about things. But again, that's, that's the entire system broken down. Again, it doesn't seem too bad. We're obtaining the currency from Solar Raid and Outpost through dispatching. Simple, simple stuff there to obtain that currency. The only real, real problem is obtaining the spare bodies. That's all that you got to do. Once you obtain the spare bodies, it's one, I think, plus two. Um, and then limit, uh, get bond level 30. That's, that's it. Once you do those things, you're done. That's it. You're ready to go. Which, um, for a lot of us, might if you're a new player, might be very hard for us, like, long time players i have it ready for uh diesel right and uh isabel so for me i'm ready, I'm ready to go whenever that happens but um for exia and or for rather frima and uh, the other one uh what is it uh Laplace. yeah kind of screwed there but you know most of us who knows if we played for a long time we've definitely obtained these characters and if not put them on your wish list get them ready uh you have time i'm giving you a warning for a month obtain laplace obtain whoever you want on this list here and make sure you have them duped up so you're ready to go uh save up your summons if you've already saved up your summons spam them out now uh and just level them up who knows right so take care have fun that's the entire video wanted to go through this coming soon and uh, be ready yeah